the F-111 Tactical Fighter. One new aircraft for two services being developed by the United States Air Force. Perhaps the most important feature of the F-111 is its variable wing design. In its extended position, it permits low-speed, short-distance takeoff and landing, and long loiter time. High lift is achieved by the use of slat and flap extensions. With the wings folded back, a near-optimum configuration for high-speed, low-drag, supersonic flight is produced. Terrain avoidance radar on the F-111A will allow it to fly low-level missions supersonically day or night in all weather. Well, F-111, as most people will remember, came in in the 70s, 1974, but had a little bit of a uh, checkered life even before it arrived in the country because it had technological issues. Once it arrived in this country, it uh, really proved um, its capability serving uh, in the Australian Defence Force in the RIIF. Of course, uh, it's most well known for its dump and burn capabilities. A lot of us in Australia, and particularly in the southeast corner of Queensland, remember it quite well for that little feature. The story of the F-111 from flying perspective ended in 2012 and was retired from service. And after that, uh, then there was a big push by a lot of museums, QIM being one of the leading organisations to uh, acquire one to display. Once they uh, retired the aircraft from uh, Air Force Service, the thinking from the Defence Department was to just scrap all the aircraft and keep a few on display on Air Force bases. Of course, that didn't uh, sit very well with uh, a lot of air museums around the country, QIM included. So uh, we started a campaign to have that decision changed. It involved uh, talking to the Minister for the Defence Material Organisation, Senator Jason Clare. We actually had uh, Jason come and visit. I hosted him around the museum and sat him down and had a chat to him about the whole disposal process. To his credit, they actually put a hold on scrapping some airframes and then came back and said yes and allowed organisations to apply for uh, an F-111. As it turned out, you know, we were successful. When the aircraft, uh, our F-111, was uh, flown into the country in 1974, the pilot was Wal Walters. Interesting thing is that when we had the official handover ceremony for our F-111, we invited Wal up. He was very happy to turn up with his wife. And we actually had the pilot who flew the aircraft the last day. Um, so we had the bookend. So we had the first pilot and the last pilot for our F-111 for the official handover ceremony. Mm -hmm. 